7%. This is the number of adults in America that believe chocolate milk comes from brown cows, according to a study completed by the Innovation Center of U.S. Dairy. 40%. This is the number of students in a California school system unaware that hamburgers are made from beef from cattle. 50%. This is the amount of students in the same school system that didn't know that pickles were cucumbers. Hi, I'm Alyssa with South Organics. For centuries, our society has been shifting from rural or agrarian centers to cities or urban centers. However, in years since the Industrial Revolution, this movement has been happening incredibly rapidly. Originally, this shift could be attributed to a simple need for work. Moving away from the farm and into a city put the family closer to factories and offices. Today, it's a little more complicated. People flock to cities in search of not just jobs, but community, social and political involvement, and excitement. According to a census conducted by the Center for Sustainable Systems at the University of Michigan, as of 2021, nearly 83% of Americans live in urban areas compared to about 63% in the 1950s. Although there is nothing wrong with pursuing a more urban lifestyle, this did present a new and interesting challenge for the remaining agriculture community. As cities and populations grew, it became the American farmer's job to feed them. Gone were the days of farms producing enough to feed the family and maybe sell to the neighbors. Instead, farmers were producing enough food to provide at home and to be sent to the cities to sell. Over the years, the agriculture industry in the U.S. has adapted to provide for growing populations in our own country and abroad. But today, we're faced with a new and possibly more difficult challenge. The shift of the population has produced generations of Americans that have not only never seen a farm, but have very little knowledge of where and how their food is produced. Because of this, we are experiencing an agriculture literacy crisis. Okay, maybe that sounds a little dramatic, but let's dive into it. Agriculture literacy has no formal definition, but its meaning can be extrapolated from the simple definitions of both agriculture and literacy. Agriculture is the science or practice of farming, and literacy is the understanding or knowledge in a certain area. So broadly, we're talking about the knowledge or understanding of the science or practice of farming. In 2013, the American Farm Bureau Foundation published six pillars of agriculture literacy, with the goal of drawing attention to the relationship between agriculture and society. These relationships are outlined as agriculture and animals, the environment, technology, lifestyle, the economy, and food, fiber, and energy. The moral of the story, our lives are more intertwined with farming than most Americans have ever noticed. Think of your favorite t-shirt. Let's assume it's made of cotton. The number one cotton producing state in the US is Texas. So let's assume that's where it started. Cotton is planted in the spring and harvested in the fall, at which point the seeds and fibers are separated. The fibers go on to become threads, which are then used to make your favorite t-shirt. But what else can cotton be used for? The fibers that are too small for making cloth are destined to provide cellulose for high quality paper products, plastics, and even some explosives. The cotton seed is crushed to produce oil, mill, and hulls, which can be used as livestock feeds, cooking oils, and even fertilizer. Now, let's take a walk to the kitchen for an afternoon snack. My favorite, popcorn. Iowa is the number one corn producing state in the US, although more than 50% of domestic corn is produced in Iowa, Illinois, Nebraska, and Minnesota. Some of the corn grown in the US makes it to your pantry, but about a third of the American corn crop is used to feed livestock, and another third is used for ethanol production. The last third is divided up to produce cooking oils, biodegradable packing materials, and of course, snacks. With just those two crops, the agriculture industry has contributed to producing renewable energy, clothing, paper products, animal feedstuffs, plastics, and foods for you and me. Agriculture literacy is more than understanding that a farm is a place where food is grown. It's about the interconnectedness of our agriculture community with every aspect of our lives. In our society today, it's easy to get caught in a cycle of my food comes from the grocery store and I ordered my clothes online. And we are all lucky to have those options allotted to us. But convenience and habit can never take the place of knowledge and appreciation. In the US, 2% of the population are farmers or ranchers. This 2% provides the raw material that fulfill nearly all of our basic needs. But for many of us, our physical disconnection from those people and their land and animals has produced a gap 
in knowledge and understanding and in acceptance. Unfortunately, this gap has left plenty of room for interpretation, leading to misconceptions and misinformation that then inform public perception, legislation, and consumer preferences. At Southern Organics, we are proud supporters of American agriculture and are excited to be using our platform to show that support and do our part in bridging the gap. To the 2%, we are so grateful for you and your contribution to our society and our future. To everyone else watching, I challenge you this week to take the time to consider all the ways that 2% impacts your life. You might be surprised. We are so happy that you're here and cannot wait for the next time we get to share with you. This year, we are putting a special focus on contributing to ag literacy. Stay tuned for more videos that educate on agriculture topics and clear up some widely held misconceptions about agriculture. As always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about our business or our products, please reach out to me at alyssa at southlandorganics.com or give us a call at 800-608-3755. Visit our website for more information and follow us on social media at Southland Organics.